Turn off the radio for a minute. So, what can I talk about in this video? What the heck is that? Did I cut myself? Sometimes I do things and I don't even know how I do it. The magic just happens. What can I say? But, putting that aside. So, as usual, I'm always listening to the radio and listening to conservative talk show hosts. And they're all saying the same thing that, you know, we all get sick and tired of hearing, especially when it comes to politicians, especially the socialist Democrats, just constantly making decisions for us and giving us ultimatums that if we don't do this, then we suffer these consequences. You know, whether if it's Obamacare, you know, Barack Obama putting it, putting it into law for us American citizens to get health insurance or suffer one of two penalties pay a $90 fine or spend 90 days in jail. Or if it's Joe Biden's administration saying that everyone in the country needs to be vaccinated or they're going to lose their jobs. And unfortunately, a lot of people have lost their jobs as a result of these ridiculous mandates. You know, my question to you, the American people, especially all of you who vote for Obama and Joe Biden and in the process managed to get Nancy Pelosi to serve as the Speaker of the House in Washington, D.C. I mean, why do you guys vote for this stuff? Don't you see that what you guys are doing, you're actually destroying this country? You think you're building this country up and making it better. You know, you may think that you're helping yourselves get out of poverty, but all you're doing is just creating a much bigger poverty for the entire nation. You know, I don't know what it is. You know, can you help me to understand why you guys think that Barack Obama was a great president? Why you think he was? Can you guys help me to understand why you decided that Joe Biden was a better option in the 2020 election than Donald Trump? Can you help me to understand that? I mean, do you guys really believe that Donald Trump was a racist? Try telling that to his Jewish daughter, Ivanka. You know? And so what if he was a loudmouth? So what if he may have said things that he shouldn't have said, you know, hurt people's feelings like a bully? You know, look, he was still a better president than any president that we've ever had within the last few decades because he actually worked for this country. He actually made this country better. You may not think so, but he did. And if anyone was not making this country better, it was the socialist Democrats like Nancy Pelosi and Joe Biden and Elizabeth Warren and... AOC, it was them. They were the ones who were flipping this country upside down in a way that it should never have happened. So it's like, look, everything terrible that happens in this country, you know, even outside the country in Afghanistan, Americans being trapped behind enemy lines and these vaccine mandates where we are all required to get vaccinations against the coronavirus or we lose our jobs. People, to each and every one of you who vote for these socialist Democrats, when you vote for Joe Biden, when you vote for Kamala Harris, when you vote for Elizabeth Warren, AOC, Nancy Pelosi, and when you put socialist progressives on the Supreme Court, this is what you're voting for. You are voting for these vaccine mandates that require you to either get vaccinated or lose your job, meaning that you cannot bring home the bacon. You can't put bread on the table. You can't pay for your children's food. You can't pay for your children's education. You can't pay for taking your wife out to a nice restaurant every now and then, you know, just to have some alone time, you know, to have your beautiful, intimate bonding moments, you know, between spouses. When you vote for these socialist Democrats, you vote for all of these nonsensical, political ideologies that encourage our government and our military to abandon American citizens behind enemy lines in a foreign country, in Afghanistan. This is what you guys vote for. You guys vote for making this country a terrible place to live in and being a laughing stock on the world stage. I wish you guys could help me to understand why you guys think that people like Barack Obama and Joe Biden and Kamala Harris and Elizabeth Warren and AOC and all these people, what makes them such political messiahs that you vote for these people and in effect what really happens is bad things, more bad things happen. 
I will never understand people who vote for socialist Democrats like Joe Biden. You know, you got to help me to understand why you make these decisions. And I really wish you guys would stop being blind to what's really going on in the world. Stop being blind to how real life really works. Stop being blind. Stop allowing these socialist Democrats to hypnotize you and get you to think ridiculous nonsense that has no basis in facts. And chances are, whatever they accuse Donald Trump of, they're the ones that are really guilty of those things that they accuse Donald Trump of. You know, whatever they blame Republicans for and conservatives for, they're the ones who are actually guilty of those political ideologies that are immoral, unethical, illegal, and biblically speaking, sinful. You know, it is my hope and prayer that you who vote for socialist democrats that you will eventually open your eyes to everything that's going on in the world what has happened and realize that you voted for this stuff and as we get to the 2022 elections and the 2024 elections once we get to those elections we can actually make a real difference that will get america back to where it needs to be where donald trump was having it go when he was president from 2017 to 2021. You know, Joe Biden hasn't been in office longer than a year. He's only been in office for about 11 months at least. And he's already flushing this country down the toilet. And you guys voted for him. I really hope and pray that you guys will open your eyes to the harsh realities of life and realize that what you voted Biden for, it's all, it was all nothing but a fantasy. It was nothing but a fantasy that only exists in fairy tale storybooks. Please wake up and see the harsh realities of life and realize that if you really want to make a difference in life, you got to abandon all these socialist democrat ideologies and start adopting conservative, constructive, capitalist ideologies. I guarantee you, life will be so much better when you guys finally do that. You can disagree with me all you want, but facts are facts. And they're always in front of your face, regardless of what the fake news media tries to prevent you from seeing. I'm Van Stikes. Thank you for watching this video, and God bless.